Hi there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to be creating a, a little mixed media piece. This is the Dilutions paint and this is Fresh Lime. And I am going to be um, just covering up this. This is just a spare piece of cardboard, a um, cereal box actually. <laughs> and then I'm going to use this yellow which is also the Dilutions uh, Lemon Zest. And just adding in a little bit of colour um, from this. This is a nice quick um, piece of mixed media artwork and I didn't use too many things on it. I was really just um, having a little bit of fun for, took me about 20 minutes or so, um, one morning. And so I'm just uh, drying it all off and then so that I can add some more layers. And then I'm kind of using a baby wipe here to mix it in a little bit better. Sometimes I find it gives a um, kind of a nicer result than the paintbrush. Uh, I also just add a little bit of the um, lime one back in just to even out the colours and then dry. Now I have these stamp sets. These are all from AliExpress and I will try and link these down below. I have some Paradise Teal Archival Ink, just the mini ink cubes. And I did think that one was a little bit too um, bright up there. So I actually ended up getting a scrap piece of paper and just stamping off um, just so that I don't get quite quite as stark results as that first one. But that's okay. Then I am going to get uh, the grey one, which is the shadow grey. And I'm just going to use the same thing with a different stamp. Um, and this one I just stamp straight on it. I don't stamp off. Um, this just gives it a little bit of uh, interest in the background, I guess. So it's not quite so straightforward. Then I have this stencil here and some cut grass uh, dilutions paint, which is just a slightly darker green. And I'm just going to use a little makeup sponge through the stencil. And again, this stencil is just from AliExpress as well, and I will try and link them in the description box below. So when I'm putting the paint through the stencil, I'm trying not to have too much paint on my makeup brush because I want kind of a nice clear image uh, to come through. I don't want any of the paint to seep underneath the stencil. Then I have this night, uh, next stencil here, sorry, and this is, um, I'm going to use some white paint, which is white linen, which also happens to be the Dilutions range, and put it through the edges of the stencil. I'm just doing it a couple of times. I generally try and do things in threes, give or take. It seems to make a nice kind of triangle for the eye, as people say. And then when I was looking at the stencil, I was thinking that I've really only used the outside. And so I thought I would do just the inside sort of piece here. And it almost looks like I've used a different stencil um, just because you're using a different part of it. So I do a couple of those around and about and that rounds off that stencil. Now I have this nice little bubbles one and this is lily pad um, dye ink. This is a ranger uh, dye ink pad and again it's just another darker green and I think this is a dilution stencil if I'm not wrong. I have had it for ages and ages and ages but anyhow you end up hardly being able to see this. I mean I can see it but it is kind of tricky. It just fills in all those little empty spaces. Now I have this piece of pattern paper that I just had in my stash and I had a couple of pieces of it. I quite like this little quote that I found here that says, enjoy the little things. And to me it was like I just had this little space of time to do a really quick uh, mixed media and so that was the little things to me. Um, although I'd love to sit down for hours and hours, I just don't have that time anymore. So I'm using this... Um, multi matte medium this is what i usually have in my little squirty bottle that i use in all of my uh, card making and i'm just putting some down uh, first and then putting it over top as well and this is where i like using these little foam brushes that i showed in a haul recently from aliexpress because i sometimes i don't have the time to stand at the sink and wash brushes and things so i really use these quite um sort of disposable as disposable brushes now these are the um, big brush markers and these have uh, Indian ink in them and because I have put down the uh, gel matte medium these kind of stay on top and for a minute they stay or for a few seconds they stay kind of nice and wet and you're able to blend them in and things. 
So uh, that's what I did around the edge, just to create a bit more of a defined frame. And um, so out of that pattern paper, I was saying before, I had just cut out the three flowers and they weren't whole flowers, so that's why they're sitting on the edge of my paper. And then using the white big brush marker, I'm just adding in some little dots and details to make these flowers stand out. I did not do a good job down here with this green one. I was trying to make them stand out a bit more and it just all turned into mush. However, I didn't have time to fix it because um, my little baby was gurgling in the background ready for a feed. So I really do just use this white pen as to kind of um, define the edges, seeing as I made them so murky with the green, but that's okay. And then um, the last thing I'm going to do is just pop the little um, saying, quote, sentiment, and enjoy the little things on the middle. And I just adhered that down with some matte medium. And then I'm just adding in some little black dots around the edges. This is mainly to tie in the black of the... Um, the little quote there and that's about all I've got time for today so I hope you enjoyed this really quick little project it's kind of a nice bright one and thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time thanks bye